This story happened in our house and my mom was the one to experience it. At that time a new road was being built next to us and construction was right outside our windows. Those days my father was on a business trip and I was not at home, just my mother and Hannah. Hannah was the name of our husky dog. In the countryside people often went to bed early after having dinner. As usual, my mother entered the room and quickly fell asleep that night. However, my mother suddenly heard Hannah barking in the living room in the middle of the night. The dog was usually very good, but for some reason that day, Hannah was a bit naughty. My mother couldn't sleep when she heard Hannah howling, so she held two or three times. Hannah, shut up! I need to sleep! At that time, my mother was angry. Hannah didn't usually bark at night, and my mother would get a good sleep. Sometimes she barked once or twice, but very seldomly. But that night, she kept barking all night long. My mother was so upset that she climbed out of bed, put on her shoes and went to the kitchen to see what was wrong with Hannah. My mother quickly pushed open the door to see what was happening. Hannah, what the hell are you doing? Do you know I'm sleeping? My mother scolded. My mother heard that Hannah was still barking, even though she held at her. Hannah looked towards the main door and continued to bark loudly as if she had seen something. It looked like Hannah would continue to bark all night long. At this moment she looked like she was scared of something, because her eyes kept moving towards the door and the dark space in front of it. My mother glanced at the door and was confused. There seemed to be nothing suspicious there. All was normal and silent. The kitchen door was closed. At first my mom thought someone had broken in, but that couldn't be because the door didn't move at all, and my mother often had a habit of cleaning the kitchen floor at night. She was afraid that if she went to the kitchen when she was thirsty, she might slip and fall. That's why she was extra careful. After that my mother left the door open to let the air in and ventilate the floor to dry. In the evening all electrical appliances would be turned off in case of the event of a short circuit. She was alone you know. My mother also remembered well that the kitchen door was open before she went to bed. But there seemed to be something out of the ordinary here. But my mother didn't think much of it then. She just thought the strong wind made the door close and Hannah startles, so it barked loudly. Hannah turned to look at my mother as if she wanted to say something, but my mother still didn't care and assumed that Hannah must have trouble sleeping. My mother got a little angry and didn't want to care about it anymore. She turned to go in and wanted to go back to her room. She must have been very tired after a long day. Hannah ran up to my mother again and continued to bark. She had never been like this before. Perhaps she had a premonition that something was about to happen. My mother didn't know why Hannah looked so upset that night. She didn't seem to want to listen to my mother's commands. What? How are you Hannah? Is something wrong? Are you hungry baby? As soon as my mother stopped at Hannah, it continued to bark into the kitchen. It was not because of a thief breaking in nor was it because Hannah was hungry. Why was she like that? My mother suddenly realized that there might be something that made Hannah feel danger. It sniffed something. My mother decided to inspect the kitchen. She stepped cautiously closer to the kitchen door. She was afraid if someone or a thief tried to break in and unfortunately he had a weapon, she wouldn't know what to do. My mother carefully pressed the doorknob several times. She was scared, nervous and worried because if the door opened, heaven knew what would happen. But when she opened the door, the door suddenly seemed stuck and could not open again. My mother wondered if someone had intentionally locked the door inside. When she suspected something was wrong, she suddenly stopped because she heard the sound of broken dishes in the kitchen. My mother got scared and backed away. In fact this was extremely dangerous because if thieves were in the house my mother would have no way to fight them. She quickly went back into the bedroom, locked the door and called 110 for help from the police. She carefully locked the door tightly and waited in the room for a while. 
She also listened to see if there was anything unusual outside. She just stared to open the door until the police came. My mother opened the door for the police to come in. Hannah did not bark like this before. Two police officers quickly went to check the kitchen. Since the kitchen door didn't lock, they only needed to push it lightly to open it. Two very cautious policemen entered to investigate. My mother standing next to me was equally nervous, but there was no thief in there. Police also didn't find any traces of opening the door or breaking in. The scene was just a little messy in the kitchen. All kinds of furniture was strewn all over the place as if someone had broken into the house, but obviously this reason couldn't be because there was no sign of a thief entering the house at all, and the floor was full of sticky things like grease. The side of the fridge was opened by someone and it couldn't close. Food and fruit were all over the ground. The two policemen did not know what it was, but they ruled out the possibility of someone entering the door because they did not find any tools used to break the door down. The only way to enter was the window to the kitchen, but the window had a carefully guarded latch, and there was no sign of vandalism. Something slipped through the gap in the iron railing, but it certainly wasn't a person and the police suspected that wild cats or wild animals might have came in to find food. After determining there was no danger, the police left. My mother said the stains on the floor just then did not come off, and they smelled bad. The following day after that incident, the road behind my house was being repaired, and people dug up something. They flocked to see a lot, and my mother was also there. My mother had just come back from the market at the time. She saw people gathering to see something, so she joined them. She ran over and asked a man standing nearby to inquire about what was happening. The man said they were digging a coffin up. Something went wrong, so the coffin was dug open. The two men also brought out something wrapped in a cotton blanket. The cotton blanket had dripped black drops of water. This water stain seemed new so it had not yet dried but dripped down. After looking at the drippings like oil, this liquid was black and gave off an extremely unpleasant stench that made everyone want to vomit. My mother's heart suddenly began to beat faster, for she remembered the strain and the oil on the kitchen floor last night. Exactly like these black liquid stains. Later the post-mortem department came to examine the body and said that it was only a dead person that was buried here and the road was successfully repaired. My mother asked someone to hang a bagua mirror on the window facing the street. She said it could ward off evil spirits. After that, everything was okay. <laughs>